Welcome back, my alien viewers. Today, we'll be doing some arts and crafts with resin. Yay, resin. Yay, resin. Yes, we may watch a little bit too much of Evan and Caitlin. Today, I'm going to be testing out putting these diamond, plastic diamond things into resin. I got these from a diamond art kit. These are like the leftover colors. So let's see what happens when we put them in resin. And are you mixing those into the first batch? Yes. I'm going to use this cube mold to do some tests. Now we can't wait for these tests to harden, but I can see what it's like to mix these in and, and how these float. Nope, you do not get to chew on these. No, I'm sorry. And compared to Evan and Caitlin, we are resin newbies, but we have done some experimenting with it before. We have done some experiments. A little. We have done some experimenting. And I can say that we may be newbies, but we have some knowledge. I mean, after watching their videos, we understand somewhat about what we're doing. That's the great thing about mistakes and learning from mistakes. They don't have to be your own. <coughs> well, I've made enough for all of us. And please cut out the cough. Yes, I think this actually has mixed pretty nicely. See how that flows? Mm -hmm. It looks good. I wish the, uh, the diamonds were a little brighter. Yeah. This is also a small amount. It's and, not food. And with no colorant. Thus far, we haven't needed to use any mold release, which is a good thing because we don't have any. We don't have any. Why? Because just like them, we keep forgetting to pick it up. Exactly. You think it is, but it's not. Well, he thinks everything is food, don't you? Not for birdies. I mean, that looks pretty good. I'm curious if they're going to float to the bottom, though. Well, I guess we're going to find out. We're going to find out. I have a feeling it it's going to. But I have an idea for how we use that in our advantage. So, what are we doing next? Well, we're going to do we're going to do some dragons and we have dragon egg and two dragon molds and we're going to do sets. And I was thinking about this. Let me pose my idea to you. We could do the dragons are two different elements, and then the egg is a mixture. So the egg is the hybrid. Yeah, that's fun. I think that'd be pretty cool. I also have a set of blue diamonds. Beautiful. And since the top of the egg is the bottom of the mold, I will use the diamonds and just the egg part that way the eggs float down so you still see the top is the bottom. We're using uh, ink or alcohol inks for our colors today. I'm going to use turquoise, tur turquoise and sapphire for the water dragon. So I'll give you that color. Well, how, many, how much are you putting in? Just a couple drops. That's okay. Oh, this is gorgeous. Yeah, I think I probably could have added less colorant in mine. Because it seems a little dark. But it's not too dark, so it's not going to ruin it. And we have a great trick of how to get bubbles out at home. We sure do. <laughs> is that as good as a pressure pot or a vacuum? Probably not. But it works. But it works. We will show you that trick later when we put these out to cure. Where are we using this? Okay, that will be in this dragon mold. All of it? All of it. Miss 
anywhere. No. Uh, well, yes, but I'm gonna get that with my color. Okay. So I think you're good now. I'm purposely kind of overspilling the mold, the mold a little bit because some of these are very tiny little holes or little areas. And I think that'll be good. Stretch it out, make sure it gets into every little crevice. Alrighty. It's not risen. And the heat from the lighter basically gets rid of any uh, bubbles that are on the surface. Mm -hmm. Don't hesitate to uh, write in and tell us about all the mistakes we've made so far. <laughs> Somebody would be like, you're not stirring it properly. Yeah, exactly. Yes, please leave a nice criticism comment. <laughs> Constructive criticism. Okay, so I have the red. Is he going in the dragon? No, orange is going first. Okay. As you can see, hopefully, this mold is a little deeper than the first one. Yeah, so we might have to mix up more. And if we do, that's okay. It's all good. Because that's mine's basically out. And that's how far I got. Would you put more red or more orange? Uh, more orange. Do you want to do it before you put the red in? No. Okay, we'll put the red in and I'll mix a little more in that same cup. All right. Yeah, these little cups hold 30 millimeters. And they give you a good, you know, quarter to eighth of an inch of space above 30 millimeters. For mixing space. So. Yeah. And I am using just a hair more hardener than I am uh, resin because with some of the deeper molds we've had some problems with them not hardening all the way through yeah like the like the most of the resin will harden but then we find small little spots where uncured resin has you know flowed to the edge or to the bottom of the mold so like the top of your your creation is slightly sticky Get rid of a little extra resin. Yep. Yeah, well, we had gotten, these are our first resin molds that we had ever gotten. And I had gotten these, this gem mold, because I'm like, oh, well, all that leftover resin, I can just put it in a small mold like that. And that's what we've been doing. Alrighty. Now to do the egg combination. I'm going to need ruby and turquoise i feel like the roker huh you feel like what the roker you know when they say al roker needs to be rebooted i've been sitting here like this waiting on you to hand uh, me the cup sorry i'm trying but it won't separate well you give me both of them then okay yes it separated So I only added three drops to mine, but I want you to add the full five to yours. Okay. Because the turquoise is where I'm going to mix in the diamonds. So I want the turquoise to be a little bit more transparent so you can still see them. The 60 milliliters is gonna be enough to fill that egg, do you think? I think. And we'll put the red or the turquoise in first. Put the turquoise in first. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour a little bit of the turquoise in first, because this this dragon egg has it's hatching. So it's got no, no, no not yet. So I'm gonna roll it around to make sure that the resin gets in into the, the crevices. Crack. 
Yes, into in the, the crevices. In the crevices. And then I'm gonna add the diamonds to my turquoise and then pour the rest of the turquoise and then you do the ruby. Now I like those colors in that color resin. Yeah, I think that looks nice. It's chunky, but that's okay. All right, and the rest of this goes in. I'm gonna mix this pretty thoroughly, so I feel okay with scraping it. Usually you shouldn't scrape like this, but we also have the diamonds that are holding a lot of it back. And I mix, at least I feel like I mix this pretty thoroughly, so I'm okay with scraping. Yep. Cool. Very. Now to cross our fingers so that these colors don't mix in the curing process. Amen. The best thing that we found for getting rid of bubbles is to put them on top of the dryer. The vibration brings all the bubbles to the surface and for the first 30 minutes to an hour, we continuously check on the molds and flame throw all the bubbles that come to the surface. All righty, it's been 24 hours. It's time to demold. I wanna start with our test. Most of the bubbles are trapped around. Yeah. Oh god, this is slowly falling. What do you think, Biscuit? So yeah, they all fell to the bottom. So that's what I was expecting anyways. There were a few floating stragglers though. So not all of them. But it didn't it didn't create a texture on top. It didn't create any lumps, so it's nice and smooth on the top. Yep. So it came out fairly nice. Alright, time to demold the water dragon. Oh, it's so satisfying to listen to. Do you think that's biscuit food? Do you think that's biscuit food? Huh? All right, so nah. there's a little bit of cleanup to do, but... It came out nice. It came out nice. I like the colors. <laughs> you really can't um, see that much difference. It seems like the, bl the two blues mixed a little bit. Mm -hmm. Time for this one. This dragon seems like it does have a little bit of the mixture. Some places look darker red and others look a nice light orange. There it is. Beautiful. Yeah, I like it. That's not biscuit food either. Okay. Before we get to the main egg, which is gonna be my favorite, as you can see, these are just little gems. With any leftover resin, we've always put it into these little diamond molds. So we eventually get this. A whole bunch of different colored gems. Which is cool. I think these gold, ah, drop that one. I think these gold glitter ones are my favorite of the gems. Finally, my favorite, or what I'm most excited to demold. Oh yeah, that worked. Yeah, let me see that. You know, the top of this one is a little rough. But it also has the egg cracks. So the texture, I'm not too worried about on this one. Well, I didn't realize the mold had. Yeah, the mold has got cracks in it anyways. 
That's why I dropped the turquoise in first to make sure we got resin in all the little cracks. But I think the gems worked out really nice. And you can kind of see the red in the middle. And there's still a couple bubbles in each one of these, but for the most part, the dryer trick work. Pretty cool. All right, so that's, that'll wrap up our first crafts video. We're gonna have to experiment with resin again. More resin videos. Yay. Yay. Do you wanna say goodbye, Biscuit? No? See you next time. Hold on. We gotta get cute footage of Biscuit.